This is a 1950 Chevrolet 3100 short bed truck and it has been uh, chop topped and kind of made into a hot rod low rider. It's sitting on a uh, 72 Buick frame, uh, Buick drivetrain, and uh, man, it runs awesome. This thing just runs so good. I've been uh, using it as a daily driver. Transmission shifts perfect. speed here but these guys are in the way it's got really good acceleration just runs down the road super smooth I mean, kind of the cool thing is the, the the luxury aspects of the Buick are underneath this truck. So you've got the independent front suspension, power disc brakes, power steering. I mean, I can steer this steer, steering wheel. Watch. I mean, I'm literally steering this thing just with one hand. Just steers so awesome. It's got a good sounding exhaust system. I don't know how many miles are on the engine right now, but I can tell you it doesn't smoke and it runs like a daily driver, it runs fantastic. You barely touch the key, it fires right up. Um, and uh, looking under the valve covers, looking at the oil and everything like that, I think it looks really, really clean. It's got a fiberglass front end on it and it's a tilt forward, you just pop those and up she goes. Got a beautiful engine detail, no exhaust leaks. Go around to the other side. Nice clean, new uh, chrome valve covers, air cleaner, just kind of generic just to make it look nice. The block is black, looks really good. Transmission clean, just really really nice engine detail super super clean under the hood it's got great throttle response so well on its way to being a um just a really really awesome um just a really really awesome uh truck for somebody Let me take a step back real quick and show you what it looks like with the tilt forward on it. Just looks super, super cool. I mean, this looks so cool at a car show when you've got the forward with the, the 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 tilt forward front end doing like that, and you can just walk right up to it. It makes it really, really easy to work on. It's got some like uh, you know a little uh, soft weather stripping here. I would probably move that, you know, clean that up, move that maybe to the to the top of the hood or something like that to make that a little bit better. I mean, right now, this is like a 10-footer. This is not a show truck. Obviously, you can tell by the price. This, the price that I'm selling it for is not show truck price. Because it's just, you know, it's not a perfect truck, but it is super, super cool. And it would be very easy to, easy to take it onto that show truck uh, look. So the body's super straight on it. Like I said, the fr front is fiberglass tilt forward. It is missing one lens here for the light in the front. The body's just super, super straight. Doors are straight. The chop top was done very well. No uh, evidence of welds or anything like that. They did a custom cut glass and the weather stripping all looks really good. Uh, the rear fenders are also fiberglass. The tailgate is uh, the original tailgate that's been wrapped in sheet metal. They did a really, really good job doing that. You can see it says Chevrolet through the back, but uh, just customized that front with a little roll pan down at the bottom and, and the brake lights there. All the lights work, turn signals work. It's got some really nice pacers. 
I believe those are tens in the back and uh, eights in the front. Just really, really, really nice offset with brand new tires. No rust on the truck that I see at all. Uh, the the wind, uh, weather stripping in the window still needs to be replaced or installed. You can hear when I close the door. You can see that, you know, kind of doing that. But it's got a nice looking, really nice looking custom interior uh, with the uh, Chevrolet emblem bow tie. Nice clean carpet uh, with the yellow mat floor mats. Two tone custom uh, bench. Really nice clean dash headliner. It's nicely painted on the interior and looks really good. I decided not to do anything with the gauges, so the gauges are not working right now. Uh, I just, those finishing touches that I believe the next guy's gonna wanna do to this truck, like maybe put some Dakota or Dolphin gauges in it. Also, I left the radio the way it is so that someone could maybe do something custom there. And the nice thing is it's not chopped. If you look closely, uh, there's no, they haven't, nobody cut the, da the dash where the original radio was. And so if it was mine, I'd probably put the, like the new style old radio or the old school style new one however you want to call that that's got the it looks exactly like the old one but it's got the ipod connection and everything so really nice it's also got seat, two seat belts in it um, and the radio does work that's in it right now so it's got um let me show you this real quick it's got the speakers in the back and it's got some space in the back i took my daughter back to school shopping and we were throwing everything behind the seat it was really nice so um turn the key in the on position and uh, speakers sound really good and you know with the cab being so small it doesn't take a whole lot to fill it up with with, with music uh, oh one other thing the windows both on both sides roll up great and they have some tint to them but this one does have a crack in it and it's kind of tough to see maybe you can see that one right there two cracks so that window will need to be replaced eventually of course I always drive with the windows down so it never bothered me that the that the window was cracked let me take a quick look underneath the truck for you. Really clean frame rails. Like I said, this is all Buick frame. Cherry bombs. Floor floor pans are all new and good. I haven't found any rust on the truck. It's got the um, aftermarket, um, or it's got the fuel in the fuel cell on the back, I believe, from the Buick too. Of course, the rear end, drive shaft, all that. It just gives it a really nice ride. So super clean. I'm not. I'm, normally, I'd show fender walls and stuff. I'm not showing that because they're they're fiberglass. These are metal right here. The step ups and they're they're like new. They're custom and new. So there you have it. This is a really cool truck. I think this is a, I think it's a steal of a deal on a truck that uh, somebody can really have fun with. You could drive it just like it is, enjoy it, add your finishing touches to it. Uh, mechanically, uh, I'd give it a 10. I mean, it's in great mechanical shape. Everything looks great. It's got new tires. The wheels are new. Um, it's got a nice looking paint job. I did, I think earlier, walk around a little bit if I show you. It is fiberglass, so it's got a couple of the little, like kind of, you know, on a Corvette, how you get an older paint job on a Corvette. It's got a couple of little spider cracks and things like that. Just a couple of little things like that here and there on the truck. But overall, I mean, I'm standing eight feet away from this truck. It looks awesome. I mean, at a car show, you're going to impress people with this thing. It's super cool. This is the most expensive part of the project and getting it to this point where it's like a really nice daily driver. So just adding your own finishing touches to it, maybe a custom stereo, maybe the maybe the gauges, maybe putting a different kind of bed in it if you want to, whatever it is, the, the truck's been brought to a point where it's really, really cool and really, really workable and daily driver. So somebody's just going to have a, such a blast with this thing. I wish I could keep it.